to like what he likes, dislike what he dislikes. Jesus said, I do always those things that please my Father. I do always those things that please my Father. Praise God. And you know what? And when you do, when you want to do, when you've got a heart to do, when you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you those desires of your heart, the Bible says. I think it's Psalms, either chapter 34 or 37, one or the other. It says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. In other words, he will put his desires in our heart when we delight ourselves in him. Then he will place his desires in our heart, and we will desire what he desires. And see, he knows the will for our life. So when we, when our desire, desires line up with his desires, praise God, then there's, there's where the success comes in. There's where the blessing is. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. I'm not talking about only finances, but finances are included. And that the blessing of the Lord covers everything in your life. You're prosperous in every area of your life. That's a blessing of the Lord. And we don't run after the blessing, but the blessing runs us down and overtakes us when we delight ourselves in the Lord. It runs us down and overtakes us. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28. Read all the blessings and all the curses. Praise God. Hallelujah. I hope you understand today. I hope you understood that. Tell you what, and our blessing is Jesus, praise God. What Jesus did on the cross, you know, our blessing is not only, you know, a place to live and, you know, income to live on or vehicles to drive, although that's included, but the blessing of the Lord is blessed with spiritual blessings also, as well as material blessings. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, the Bible says, and adds no sorrow. You know, there's plenty of people that's got, that's well off in this world in material things and finances, but you know what? There's sorrow right, right with it. If they're not abiding in the Lord, there's sorrow with that. But you know what? The blessing of the Lord, there'll be no sorrow with what you have. It'll be no burden to you. You won't have to worry about how you're going to keep uh, keep everything up or, you know, how you're going to maintain everything that you have. The blessing of the Lord adds no sorrow. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that comes with be, uh, being a giver, doing what the Word says. The Bible says, Jesus said, Given it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men give it to your bosoms? And see, there's certain laws in the Bible. If we obey them and we're a doer of the Word, then those laws are just like regular laws. If we obey them, they'll work for us. But if we don't obey God's spiritual laws, they're not going to work for us. Yeah, you might be saved, you know, but you've got to obey God's spiritual laws in order for them to work for you. And it's not God's fault if you don't obey the laws. He said, meditate in the word day and night, told Joshua to do that, that you, could, that you may observe to do all. Uh, or do according to God's laws, all that God has spoken. And then, then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So what if you don't obey the laws? You're not going to prosper and you're not going to have success. It's a clear indication. Do what God says and you'll have what God says you'll have. Don't do what God says and you won't have what God says you'll have. Simple simple. Just find out what God says and do it. Do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, there's a lighthouse on a hillside that overlooks life's sea. When I'm told
Fee.